Hey, what's going on? Dan Gamash here, and we're going to talk about what you should expect with your buyer's agent. Uh, first of all, finding a good buyer's agent is half the battle. Uh, but once you find one, um, some simple things that you should expect is for them not to waste your time, really. Uh, one way to do that is what I personally like to do is take a client out and show them four or five, six different homes in different areas that are not similar at all and find out what their likes and dislikes are. That way you can target exactly the style of home, the location of the home that you're looking for and then you can narrow it down and only notify them when something new comes up. Uh, I also like to give all buyers a complete CMA that goes over the last six months of activity. Active, pendings, and solds and that way the buyer has just about all the information they need in order to make an educated decision on their own. Um, the next thing that you can expect is, well, uh, does the agent have their pocketbook in mind or my best interests? And that's a natural thought. I would, I think the same thing when I'm buying a car. Um, does the guy want to make more money or does he want to give me a good deal? Well, uh, it's okay to think that. But if you request all the important information, you can make the own educated, your own educated decision. So if you can see the activity and you can go over pictures with your realtor of the other homes to compare upgrades to non-upgrades with the home that you're looking at, then you can, you can make your own decision and just use your realtor as guidance to get what you want. Um, sometimes it doesn't always work out that way, but uh, you'll learn kind of how this the process works and how the market is quickly. Um, then you can expect your realtor to give you a complete explanation of the contract. Uh, that'll probably make you feel a little uncomfortable and uh, there are so many different scenarios to go over uh, but they should be able to explain each paragraph and go over some of the scenarios if you don't follow the contract the way you signed so technically you wrote. Um, yes your realtor uh, did prepare it, but you signed it, so technically you wrote it. Um, but uh, you can expect throughout the process is open dialogue and constant communication. Uh, I want all of my clients to feel like I'm giving them uh, communication throughout the entire process because it can be very stressful. And uh, if you don't know what's going on, then you start to wonder and you start questioning, okay, what's this person doing? What's that person thinking? Uh, the only time you probably should not get a lot of uh, communication is when you're waiting for a short sale to be approved because literally there's not much to report back. There are, uh, it, it, there's a lot of downtime when you're waiting for the bank to respond. But uh, these are some simple things that you should expect from your realtor. And uh, it, if you have any further questions, you can reach me at 925-918-0332 or dan at pleasantonneighborhoods.com. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.